All right, hey guys. So today I'll be taking a look at a fantastic physics-based puzzle game called Crazy Machines 3. So let's just go ahead and get started with the campaign. Mission one, garage door opener. Is there anyone outside? Help, I'm stuck in the garage. I left the door opener outside. Please push the button. So the goal of the game is to build a machine that can complete an objective. Our first objective is to press this button. As you can see here, there's a wrecking ball on the left side. If I press the play button, it'll swing, knock over some dominoes, and one falls into a trash can. I can fix that by placing a beam in the center. If I press play again, the domino won't fall into the trash can, but I'm, I need to place another domino right here to complete the chain. I can also move the camera in various directions, and I can zoom in and zoom out, which is kind of nice because this game does have some very nice visuals. So uh, yeah, let's just press play and see what happens. Dominoes fall over, hits the basketball, it rolls, and victory! Open the garage door, and, and that truck just completely destroyed our machine. But that's alright, we completed the level. So let's go ahead and go to level 2. Early bird rescue. The neighbor's kids put a bird's egg on the toy truck. Bring the truck to the left hand side of the screen and unload the egg there. So in this one, we actually have to activate this toy truck with this little uh, basketball. And as you can see, it'll move by itself. And unfortunately, it falls down because the bridge collapsed. So we need to put some supports. So we're going to put this old TV here and this chair right there and play. That should work. Transporting the egg to the left hand side. Victory. And they drops down the little chute and into the bird nest. Sweet. Okay, so on to level three. Laundry day. It's laundry day. Use the green ball to push the washing machine start button. So this is where it starts getting a little bit complicated. So we have to get this ball up here to fall down to the left and then hit this basketball. That'll fall down to the right, and then we have to knock over this board, which will knock this green ball over to the right and then press the button. So we're going to go ahead and put this here, this little chute, and we're going to place this shelf about right about there, and this domino up there, and that should work. I've already completed the first like 10 or 11 stages, so I know how to complete a lot of these solutions, but the first time you play it's actually kind of challenging. I would highly encourage you to stop watching this video here and get the game for yourself and try to figure out some of these solutions um, on your own. Because I'm going to be going through it very quickly since I've already played through uh, part of the game. So let's go ahead and go to level 4. Build like an Egyptian. My neighbor asked me to complete his backyard pyramid, however... So this one is kind of crazy. We have to move this crate on top of this pyramid. And to do that, we need to use this boxing glove right here, which will knock this board up, which will knock this crate to the right. We also need to place this wooden board about right here and place some uh, rods on top, which will allow the crate to roll down and then eventually go on top of the pyramid. It's kind of cool that we can just rotate the camera angle. Very, very nice and detailed graphics. I really really like it. Um, so let's go ahead and press play and see what happens. Actually, let's get a better angle. Maybe right there. Actually, I'm right, right there. Hooray! We did it. And inside there's a little pig. It's like a little fort. Pretty cool. Okay, so on to level five. Ball path. There's something wrong with my ball path, but I don't know what it is. The lime ball must pass through the lime ring. So this one is kind of challenging. We have to get this lime ball to go all the way around and then through this green hoop here. And this is basically an elevator that goes up the right hand side. And these are like an escalator that will push balls up and we have to go all the way around. Um, so what we have to do, we have to put this pinball path here and then this trash can, we can put that I don't know, maybe right there, put some crates right here, and then we can put a board. Um, we need to put this board right about there, and this chair down here. And like I said, I already completed all these uh, challenges before. It's going to take you a lot longer to solve these puzzles yourself, but since I've already completed them, I'm just going to quickly go through each one, just to show you what you can expect from this game. It's actually a really, really fun game. So I think we're good to go and play. 
So if you watch the line ball at the bottom right hand corner, you can see the little the little pinball um, things. What do you call them? Little flippers. The pinball flippers are pushing the green ball up, and then the little escalator is gonna push the ball upwards. I can actually change the camera angle. It's kind of cool. We're, we're like on the side of the house. The little green ball falls down and then goes on this ramp and then falls into this little bucket and gets lifted up and then through the hoop and victory. So level, what are we on? Level six. This one is kind of challenging, but really cool. Plastic ball recycling. Who needs so many plastic balls on the roof? Separate them for recycling. So I just want to show you, a bunch of balls will fall off the roof up there and they'll all fall down and none of them will go into the baskets. We actually need to separate all of the balls to go into um, separate colored um, uh, garbage cans. So the first thing we need to do is we need to put this here. And what this does, this is a like a red, like, I don't know what you would call this, like a rail. Um, so red balls can go through it, but all other balls will fall down. So what I need to do is actually I need to put a catcher, a blue catcher about right here. Actually, maybe, maybe, maybe like right there. I need to put a yellow catcher about right here. And then I can let the red balls just go through this tube and then they should fall into the basket or into the garbage can. So let's go ahead and press play and see what happens. Yep, victory. Oh no, nope. The yellow balls unfortunately are falling through. So I need to move this maybe uh, up a little bit. Let's see if that works. Oh, somehow the yellow balls, one of the yellow balls just fell behind. I don't, I don't really understand how that happened. Um, let's, let's push this like way up top maybe. Maybe like right, maybe like right here. And then we can put this blue one up a little further as well. Because the blue balls fall first and then the yellow balls fall behind the blue balls. So let's see, let's see if this will work. Oh, nope. Nope, 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 definitely wrong. Try one more time. It shouldn't be that hard. The first time I did this it was really easy, but uh, sometimes it's a little bit ch more challenging. And I think I got all the balls this time. Yep, kind of based on luck, but uh, oh well. And there's the garbage man. Let's go back to chapter select. You may be wondering why I keep pressing chapter select instead of next level. If I hit next level, it'll go to uh, the last level that I am currently on, which is way ahead. It won't go to the next level. Um, so that's why I have to keep doing that. Changing a flat tire. Oh no, I have to deliver some dark matter to a friend, but my car got a flat tire. I need a replacement stat. So the first time I did this mission, I thought I was supposed to roll this tire to the left. We're actually supposed to roll it to the right and get it onto uh, this truck here. And this one is actually kind of challenging because, uh, uh, I don't know, it's just, there's a lot of pieces, a lot of moving parts, and uh, it's kind of hard to keep track of everything. So what we need to do is we need to put a domino here, and that'll land on this truck, which will activate it, which will push it to the left. Then when it gets pushed to the left, we need to get this boxing glove, which will knock up and then to the right. This will fall over. I need to put another domino here. That'll fall over here, and then this will push this block to the left. And then I need to get this little uh, boxing glove here. And then I need to put this propeller blade about right there. And I think that'll be good. I need one more domino on top. And then that should work. And it's gonna go, it's gonna start at the bottom, and it's gonna go to the left, and then to the right, and then to the left, and then to the right. And then it'll push this wheel to the right, and then it'll bounce to the objective. Hopefully. <laughs> Unless I did something wrong, which I I did something wrong. I didn't space this out enough. There we go. The first time I did this, this actually took me a long time to figure out. And victory. Sweet. Alright. So we are now on the last level of the introduction. Backyard basketball. I bet you can't score with the basketball. 
So this one's really cool. It looks very, very challenging, but we're gonna, but what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be knocking this basket ball into this, uh, into the basket, which sounds impossible, but uh, it's actually very, very easy once you figure out the solution. Um, so what we need to do is we need to get this line ball through the chute and then we need to carry it up and then knock this crate over to the right, knock this tire to the right, knock it over to the left, uh, press this button, drop this barrel down, get this line ball all the way around, and then uh, hit the basketball all the way to the hoop. Which sounds crazy, but it's not as hard as it looks. So we need to get this right here. If I press play, you can see that it's going to drop the ball into the tube. Um, oops, I didn't place it high enough. Hopefully that'll work. Yep. And then we need to place this basket lift right about here. And then we need to put this boxing glove down here. And then we need to put a domino right here. And the shelf right over here. And this bucket wheel right about here. So now, now you guys can watch this crazy contraption unfold for for itself. I'm gonna change the camera angle just a little bit. I think you can also move it up and down. You can actually like zoom in and follow each little machine. I'm gonna try doing that. Let's try zooming in a little bit. And then we're just gonna try to follow everything that's happening. So the ball drops in the basket, goes down the tube, goes into the lift, comes up, and then knocks the crate, hits the tire, falls over here, hits the boxing glove, knocks over that, hits the button, drops the barrel, hits the flipper, and we messed up here. Fortunately, we put the boxing glove a little bit too low, but I think that'll work. So let's go ahead and watch that again. This game is just so charming and just so much fun. I love it. And the graphics just look so good. You can tell a lot of detail went into the graphics. And we made the basket. Sweet victory. Alright, so now we are on chapter... Um, or level 9. Childhood Dreams. This introduces gears, and gears are pretty cool. It allows for a lot more complex machines. Okay, so we need to build like a series of gears that'll power this little uh, music box. So let's go ahead and put a spinning gear, I don't know, maybe right here. Let's put a blue one right there. Put another red one here. And I guess we'll put another red one about right. Hmm. Actually, it doesn't seem right. Maybe we messed up. Nope, that's perfect. Now they're all connected, and now once this starts cranking around, this music player will start playing. So all I have to do is put a basketball here, which will start the uh, machine. And let me just look around, just for fun. And I guess I can zoom in a little bit. All right, here we go, and play. Victory! So that level's pretty easy. All right, next one, barrel transport. I bet there's something good in that small barrel. Quickly, help me load it onto the truck. Level 10. Okay, so there's a wrecking ball on the top right corner. Let me reset the camera. There we go. <laughs> there's a wrecking ball on the top, left, top right corner. If I press play, nothing really happens, but there's a barrel. I need to get this barrel to hit this other barrel. And the first time I did this level, <laughs> I, was, uh, I was stuck for quite some time. So I think I can put this about right here. Oops, nope. I need to get this wrecking ball to uh, hit the button, which will drop the barrel down. But I need it to drop to the right. There we go. And the barrel will drop down, and then unfortunately it'll fall. Um, but the way to do this, there's a plank that, that falls down as well. I need to put this electric motor right here. And then I need to put two wheels so that the board can slide to the right, to the left. So if I press play, you can see that the board is sliding to the left, and perfect. And then the barrel will drop, and it should hit this other barrel. Oh, unfortunately, we didn't have enough speed. 
that play sucks. <laughs> Let's just move this up a little bit. And let's see if that'll work. Yeah, that should work. We have a little, uh, a little slope. And push it, push it! Oh man, I think this cogwheel is a little bit too low, and I think that's what's causing the problem. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, that's definitely gonna work. Sweet. And victory. Awesome. Okay, so level 11. I don't think I've ever... Yeah, I haven't completed level 11 yet, so uh, this is going to be the first time. So it's, it may take me quite a while to uh, solve this puzzle. Blacksmithing is dangerous and demanding, so it's good to have a helper machine. Make sure it hammers the metal block on that anvil several times. So I have to get this machine to hammer the anvil several times. Hmm. C correctly connect the gears, the hammer must hit the anvil several times. Spinning gear useful for turning other gears. Axis fixed. Let me just press play and see what happens. Hmm. I'm actually a little bit confused here. Okay, that definitely didn't work. How do I connect these? Maybe I have to connect them together? No, that doesn't seem right. Or maybe. No, that doesn't seem right at all. Hmm, I'm really confused. I only have a few pieces. I have two red uh, wheels and two yellow wheels, and that's about it. Or actually, yeah, I have two, yeah, two yellow wheels and two red wheels. Hmm. I think I do need to connect them all together. So I need to put one, one, like, here. And then the rest... Oh, there we go. And then maybe another yellow wheel. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I think I messed up. Let's press play and see what happens here. Uh, we need to connect these down here as well. Hmm. Yeah, I'm really confused. Maybe we have to go up first. There's... What's really confusing me is there's three engines, and I'm, I'm wondering, like... Okay, this one goes to the left, that one goes to the left. But that spins to the right. Hmm. Maybe we just have to crank, like, we have to connect just one instead of all of them. But I'm, I really don't know. Let's see what happens. Oh, was it that easy? That was it? <laughs> I thought we had to connect the other engine, but I guess we just had to connect the top one. That was kind of confusing. I didn't really like that one. <laughs> golden gears. Put that shiny precious small golden gear into the truck and don't ask any questions. I need it for something special. We need this golden gear into the truck? This truck? I'm really confused. What's going on here? Ah, uh, whoa. This puzzle looks way too complicated. Why is there a lever here? Can I press the lever? Okay, so this falls down. I think I need to put one wheel, like, up here. Drops the ball down, but then what does the ball do? I probably need another wheel to keep this up. Upright.
knocks the boxes and then knocks that over starts the engine oh wait I need to move this piece of metal okay put the small golden gear into the truck all right I think I got it And then I need another blue gear, maybe up here somewhere. And then I need one more red gear. Okay, that should that should work. Um, and then I need one more blue gear to keep this upright. Perfect. Boxes fall down. Wheel goes to the left, starts the engine, and look at that! It's falling down! Victory! Nice! <laughs> I can't believe that worked! A little minecart! That's really cool. Awesome. Okay, so let me just go back to the main menu. I think I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here. Um, I might make a part two, just because there's a lot of levels. I think there's 80 levels total, and I'm sure there's a lot that we've missed. Gravity and radio, laser and lighting, um, a lots, of, lots of other machines. Let's just check out this real quick, just to see what it looks like. Silly old space taxi, the engine died. Wow. <laughs> okay, so uh, yeah, obviously the game you can see Earth. That's really cool. So obviously there's a lot more you can expect with this game. And before I end this video, I just wanted to mention that this game does have Steam Workshop. So even though this game has only 80 puzzles, there's a lot more puzzles being created by other users. And there's even a uh, map editor. So you can create your own inventions in these little blank areas. And uh, yeah, it's just really, really cool. And you can upload them to the workshop and share them with your friends. And yeah, so there's essentially a ton of content just waiting to be made um definitely a super enjoyable uh phys physics-based puzzle game far more enjoyable than any other puzzle game i think i've ever played um at least this genre of puzzle games usually they're very boring this one is actually really enjoyable uh the music is very relaxing the graphics are fantastic the lighting the shadows everything looks amazing and the uh puzzles are very very unique i've never played a game like this with uh these type of puzzles I guess you could consider Bad Rats to be similar, but Bad Rats is just awful. Um, this game actually does it right, it's a lot of fun, and I highly recommend it to uh, everyone who watches this. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. If you want to check out this game for yourself, I'll put a link in the description of this video to the Steam store page. And again, this game is called Crazy Machines 3. Thanks for watching guys, have a nice day.